Hi. Yes, how are you? At 93 years old, Robert Kennedy doesn't get out of the house much anymore. Can Weekly deliveries like this one from Meals on Wheels are a lifeline. I don't have to go to the store to get the groceries. And I have trouble walking, so it eliminates that problem. But what happens if a storm or disaster keeps Meals on Wheels from making its weekly rounds? Along with its regular meals, the agency is now delivering emergency food boxes containing 10 days worth of non-perishable goods. Peace of mind for Mr. Kennedy. In case of emergency or anything, I got food. Meals on Wheels is boxing up a thousand of these emergency food packs. More important now than ever with climate change making wintertime deliveries a challenge. So we've got shelf stable milk. The intent is to provide a safety net for our uh, Meals on Wheels clients who are homebound. Concerned that wind or snowstorms could cut off people and power from those who depend on their services, Meals on Wheels wants the emergency kits to bring a bit more stability to the situation. It feels unpredictable. The interesting thing about this year is we had snow in the first week of December, and as far as I can remember, as long as I've part, been part of the program, we've never had it that early. Meals on Wheels has seen the pandemic steadily drive up demand for its services, and with food costs rising, it isn't slowing down. Yeah, I got her loaded down. For Robert Kennedy, a long, unpredictable Northwest winter will be a bit more manageable thanks to some forward thinking from people he's come to depend on. They are family, aren't they? <laughs> you always have company. Stay well. Eric Wilkinson, King 5 Take News. Care.